And that is the season one of The Real Niger Ladies of Dallas. Unfortunately, season two isn't out, but I wanted you to have a sneak peek of what the reality show is about. Season two is in the works already, and we have the cast of season two of The Real Niger Ladies of Dallas. On my extreme life, Extreme left, rather. I have Jennifer, thank you for joining us. <laughs> and I have EJ Kimura on my left. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, Jennifer yeah. Myro on my right. And on my extreme right, I have Nancy. Thank you so much for joining us, ladies. Thank, thank you, you for having us. Good to have you. First of all, how are you acclimatizing to the weather in Nigeria? You know, what's the difference, basically, for you? It's similar weather conditions, yeah? Um, right now? <laughs> no. No, no, no. No. It's cold in Dallas, right? So right now it's yeah. pretty hot here. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's hot yeah. in Nigeria all the time. Yeah. I know when uh it got a little cold, they were like, Yeah, it's cold. It's I was like, cold. <laughs> no. Actually I think the heat in Nigeria just started like last week or two weeks ago. It's been cold for a while, it I think. Well, okay, what what is cold to you? It's not cold. <laughs> oh, okay, oh okay, I didn't know. I think it's since February, so it's not cold. I haven't experienced any type of coldness. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> okay, I take back my cold. Let's, <laughs> no, no, no. Let's get to know you ladies a little personally. So before you all decided to come together to do the reality show, um Nancy, what what are you into? So um I'm a full time teacher. So, teacher by day, and I'm a stylist by nights and weekends. Wow, well, how do you manage both? Only by the grace of God. <laughs> <laughs> and Jennifer? Um, I'm the creator of the show, and I'm a writer. And a lot of people know me more for the work I do with the Pamela A. Mary Foundation. And pretty much, that's it. I'm going to come back and ask you a question, but let's get to know the other lady. <laughs> EJ Kimora, um, your hair already looks like your I know. Girl. <laughs> I think I'm going to announce you already. Your hair is just hair. Okay, so I'm a musician and I'm uh -huh. an actress. I'm an entertainer all the way around, but I do have a show that I host every Friday on AIT TV. It's called the Cash Token Draw Show. Interesting. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. But I'm here, you know, to build my brand and release my music, release my show. All right, Nigeria, girl, all you better way. get it. Yeah. And I can all right. say, yeah, you can all right. all right. I want to try to can capture this lady's glow, like her glow, the glow on her cheeks. Glow, lit. glow like, baby, glow. I, I feel like this glow is, is second to none. You look really nice. <laughs> so let's get to know you as well, Jennifer. You seem like the most quiet one on the team. No. 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 Okay, no. sorry, my no. bad. You see it. No. no. I am quiet. No. Anywho. <laughs> <laughs> She's a quiet but deadly. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so tell okay, us. Okay, so I'm an actress. Interesting. Yes. Oh. And TV host and a businesswoman as well. Yes. Interesting. Good to have you all, ladies. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm going to get to find out who the quiet one is, since she says she's not the quiet one. But Jennifer Myra, what inspired you to start to write this reality show together? I hear it's unscripted. Yes, she said right, and she said unscripted. You're so shady. <laughs> <laughs> she is shady. Okay. 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 <laughs> so tell us about it. I mean, for me, it was a matter of tell, controlling the narrative, changing the narrative, and telling the story of Nigerians by Nigerians. Okay, the idea was to um, pretty much let the world know our struggles and our strengths and our strives. And um, since reality show is now the in thing, I thought it was more realistic to go that way as opposed to like a scripted like series. Okay, brilliant. Yeah, so. And how's that working for you? Because you're now you're behind the scenes and, and you're in front, in front of the scenes. So producer and cast member, how does that work for you? Well, it's definitely daunting because when I thought about the idea of the show, I didn't want to um, be in front of the camera, to be honest. I wanted to create it and have these beautiful women and others be in front. But because it was something that has never been done before, my husband advised me and said, people are not going to trust it if you don't get in front of it. They're going to feel like you're taking a chance and just throwing them out there and they might be embarrassed or whatever. So to show people that it is real and you would respect what you're creating, why don't you get in front? All right. And that's how that happened. I wasn't going to be in front. Interesting. Nidre Kimura, give us an insight into what a day in the life of, you know, the life of a Nigerian lady or living in Dallas is like. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's good parts in it and there's bad parts, but as long as you know that you can't run more than two errands a day <laughs> because of the traffic, um, over there everything's more easy, breezy, you know, Slowly. you want to go to as work. As time. As time, yeah, yeah, everything here is, I feel like time is the most important thing. You go to work, you do your thing, everything is smooth, but here you always have to expect hiccups, you know what I mean? Because of Lagos traffic. What? This traffic here is like... <laughs> 
Oh my it's gosh. A, I don't even know if I don't understand. The, I don't understand. I don't, understand. I don't know if it's the roads. I don't know what what is it. You live here. What is it? Um, I think it's a mix mix and mash of um, the roads and the fact that everybody's just running to Lagos. Everybody just feels you know Lagos is a place where you've gone to blue. You have to be in Lagos. So there's a crowd. We have a large crowd. Right, right, commercial right, capital yeah. of Nigeria. So right, right, right. Yeah. you just understand and have to, how know how to plan your movement. Know the time you to can't go out. Run to more than one, two errands a day. If you, you no, know, you can. If you study the Lagos roads, you just know that, okay, if I'm going to the mainland, I either leave very early or I wait yeah. for certain people to have gone. You know, there's a mathematics to this thing, and I'm sure that you'll get to the find out. Right. <laughs> let's Don't talk worry. to you, Jennifer. Too much, man. Let's, let's understand what the script is like or what the reality show is like, you know. So if I were to watch an episode of The Real Niger Ladies in Dallas, what would I expect to see? Um... So, like she said, she was trying to change the narrative. Because the usual reality TV shows, you know, about women, it's always drama, fights, cat fights, one problem or the other. But she was trying to go more positive than negative. So for us on the show, we're trying to project more of what we can do together to help each other grow as opposed to tear each other down. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's more of what you Do saying. you all live together in the house? Yes. To here in Lagos, yeah. 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 You mean in Dallas? Yeah. No, oh, no. So it's not that kind of reality show. Oh, not that kind mm -hmm. of reality no, show. No, no, no. So you all come from the different houses. Yeah. And just yeah. basically, does everybody have like camera crews assigned to yes. them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That's, yeah. That must be such a massive production. It is. Mm -hmm. I can't awesome. all imagine. Yeah. Do you get to fight, yes. Nancy? Do, me, oh. I don't fight though. <laughs> I don't fight. Well, do the rest of them get to fight? They, 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 I, they never, are, I never I fight. So who I fights? Never, <laughs> I never fight. Just... <laughs> okay, you know what? Maybe we should actually just let the cat out wow. of the bag. Who is the most troublesome person on the set? <coughs> Gamora. As far as... as are far you as not serious? serious? Yes. As far as sitting on this couch <clears> right now, we throat> have throat> some other <clears throat> crazy folk back home that didn't come to, to Nigeria with oh, us. Yeah, that's true. Okay. But wow. sitting here in this room right now, in this moment, the person with the blonde hair that's... Here. <laughs> and the has the has the glow. glow. Yes. Nice glow. So who is the most <laughs> quiet person on the set? I don't know why I feel like it's Nancy. It's probably it's Nancy. Nancy. Oh, it is Nancy. Nancy likes to stay away from drama. Like when I'm having my own little thing going on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's like, you who's fighting you. on that's like, I don't want to be... Oh, uh, nobody <laughs> fighting <side>. you. <laughs> okay, so Nancy, you're a teacher. Mm -hmm. How would you say that this reality show has affected or influenced what you do on a daily basis. Now, they're in the entertainment industry, right. and you're not. So it's totally stepping out of your comfort zone. Yeah. So how has it influenced your career, and how has it influenced your life in general? I think, honestly, it has actually, um, not to say that I wasn't confident in myself before, but it's actually allowed me to come out of my show, like you said, and, and be more comfortable with who I am as a person and expressing myself in the way that I, you know, and that I feel, and standing more firm in who I am. Like if, yes, if there's something yes. that I don't like, I can easily say I don't like it, or I can make movements to show that I don't like it. You know, so I feel like it's actually brought me out of my comfort zone wow. more. I, I'm so. really excited about that, and I'm really glad, you know, that you're saying you're changing the narrative because honestly, when lots of people do hear reality shows with women, it's like where two or more women are together, you know. Yeah. yeah, and that was, I was yeah. actually when when I was called to be on the show at first, I was. I didn't want to do it because I didn't want the drama. The drama, but you know, it, it actually came out for. Let's speaking day. about calling to be on the show. Let's. I'll speak with you, Jennifer. Let's talk about casting. Mm -hmm. How did you decide who and who made it to the show, and what were the things you looked out for? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in season one, it was more so a, which people do I know that I believe would make sense on the show. Season one, call somebody to call somebody to call somebody. But in season two, I had known more ladies and other people were recommending people and even people were calling me to be on, calling people that I know that can get my ear. Um, so I think for me more so it was a matter of, is this person a, an independent woman? Is this person a boss? Is this person trying to do something that would be inspiring to other people? So it wasn't just a matter of someone that was popular or someone that was physically beautiful. For me, the woman had to be a woman of substance, at least based on my characteristics. Fantastic. Um, so that's how we went about that. And of course, there were lots of ladies, beautiful ladies, boss ladies. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so you're basically looking for ladies.
ladies who owned their life, who had everything they had together, who had their thing together. Yes. All right. Let's look at, you know, basically the journey so far. And what are your expectations? You know, I, I should speak with you, Jennifer. How do you expect this to turn your career or your life around? What are, what are you looking forward to see at the end of this show? Uh, obviously, put me more out there. More gigs. Um... What else? And of course, avenues to be able to um, impact not just women, but my world in general. Um, yeah, that's pretty, that's I think that's that's the max for me. Absolutely, being able to impact my world All right. positively. That is. Yeah. Okay. Like for yeah. me, we went to. Um, I don't know. Jennifer told you two days ago. We went to. Some schools in her hood, AJ. <laughs> You're not gonna do that, baby. You know, so we went. Where did we 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 went to? Because I didn't I didn't grow up, you know, here, so I didn't know how the schooling system was and all that. And so to be able to, we're able to had an opportunity to go and see these kids and talk to them. And you know, Jennifer spoke to them. You know, and let them know that I'm from here. I made it out. You can also make it out. So me seeing that, I always wanted to go into um, doing like. Uh, doing like a foundation, some sort of, something like that, or an empowerment, some type of thing like that. And that made me even want to love it to do it more, because I saw how happy they were. The kids. The, the kids, they were so happy. They sang, they danced, the one cried, the little yeah. boy cried. Aww. And it was so touching. So it makes me like, wow, this is exactly what I want to do. And I'm, hap and I'm we're able to do it because of this platform that Jennifer was able yeah. to provide for us. How did so this grateful. get to you personally? Yeah. Because you're a teacher, and if there's anyone who should understand that outreach more, yeah. it should be you. Yeah. yeah, so, and to see kids like that, like she was saying yeah. once we were done with the presentation, we, I handed him his gift because he answered, we, we asked him a question about, you know, one of the, what was the question? The three things that they learned, and he said it was such confidence. And so when I handed him, like, some supplies, like, he just started crying in my arms. And for me, it, it's different because, you know, not to say that all American kids are like that, but, you know, pen and paper is, is nothing. <laughs> so to see a little boy cry in my arms for what I gave it. to him and appreciate yeah. it, that, that meant a lot, you know. Oh, wow. And this I'm, platform I'm was... I'm feeling really emotional right now. Yeah. Yeah. It, was, yeah. Yeah. it was a movement. It was, yeah. it was three schools, and it was, it was awesome, man. It was really awesome. Yeah. Okay, awesome. before it starts getting pretty emotional oh. in here, <laughs> let's lighten up the conversation a bit before we wrap up. Here in Nigeria, there are certain, you know, certain things that have been on ground, for example, marital pressure, mm. and most especially with the women. So mm. they say, oh, once you're up to 30 in Nigeria, mm. you have to get yourself a good Nigerian husband. Mm. <laughs> you face <laughs> such pressure. Do you face such pressure? I know you're married. Are the rest of you married? Okay. Nope. All right, so do you face such pressure as well in Texas? You know, the pressure to get married, and if he has helped you handle yes, it. Yes, it's still Nigerian parents. <laughs> yeah. 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 Who is, who is planning to mimic their parents on air and how they tell them? Do it. You must get married, though. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your mate. Your mate have already collected your own husband. I want a grandchild. <laughs> oh I want a grandchild. What are you going to give me? You know what? You're fresh now. Oh. By the time you get up there, you know, no guy will come out. Oh, oh, mommy, calm down. Every time you're going out, you're going. You, but to bring husband, you don't but want you to bring husband. You can't bring husband home. <laughs> are you serious? I wish, like, our parents would tell us where we can actually buy this man. Yeah, yeah, a yeah, shop. Yeah, yeah. And then they want to look you up. <laughs> oh. Come, come and talk to this girl's uh, 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 son, uh, my friend's son. Come and talk to him. You like him. Or someone's <laughs> adding you on Facebook. You're like, yeah. who is this? <laughs> oh, your mom gave me your number for me to talk to you. Like, no, I don't. <laughs> I don't want to do it. <laughs> I think it's like in the olden days where you can just put you and you put together and, and the then, love will come later. No. I know, you, right? I want to actually... Love, love the person you, that yeah. I'm going to marry. So know? please, we're appealing to you, Nigerian parents, <laughs> brothers, <laughs> sisters, siblings. Please allow Thanks. us. We will get married at our own time. <laughs> Stop putting us under pressure. The divorce please. rate is increasing. Hey. So we want to get married, love our spouses, yes. and just really be happy. Yes. But I wish we could continue this conversation. I'm having such a blast. <laughs> you ladies are so warm and bubbly and full of life. Thank you so yeah, much for gracing our so set. Warm. How can we follow you individually on social media? You can follow me at it's Nancy O with the RTS on oh. Instagram. Oh my God! <laughs> okay. Extra. And how can you follow you? At Jennifer Myro. Okay. Mine's EJ Kimora. I J E K I M O R A on all platforms. Okay. And and mine's Jennifer C John. That's it on everything. <laughs> okay. Follow the ladies. Your official page for uh, the reality show is at Real Ninja Ladies. Real Ninja. Okay. So where did they get to see this? Is it on YouTube yet? Um, well, season one is showing on Linda TV. Oh, brilliant. Okay. And then season two is coming, All maybe right. December. Okay. 
So fingers, fingers crossed, crossed we get to see all the juicy gist of the real <laughs> Niger ladies of Dallas. They've graced our set, but it's time for us to wrap up the conversation. To enjoy more of this, our Ogun get videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.